when there's a family member that's in the hospital, it's such a major undertaking and stress on a family that everyone, the first thought is call High Lifeline. You know they're always dependable and always going to be there. You'd be surprised the tiniest little things can make a child happy for, for the rest of his life. We go through the ups, we go through the downs, and everyone goes through it together. But to see the ups, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Help! Having something like this happen in your life is like having a bomb go off in the middle of your family. First it was that it's cancer. The second, it's cancer in a number of places. And it was uh, alveolar, which is a nastier form of rhabdomyosarcoma. And then they sit down with you again in the bad news room and they tell you, you know, you have this very serious uh, condition and you read the statistics and you try to not see what the statistics say. And then eventually you see what the statistics say and then you say, well, it doesn't matter because it's my kid and, uh, you know, we think ours is gonna make it. And, uh, and so far, you know, we're pointing in the right direction. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. <laughs> Go, climb the mountain, climb up higher. We met High Life Flying within hours after we learned that Luke had cancer, and they were offering to take, help take care of us and take care of our family and just take care of our needs. We decided to send Luke to camp, and it really changed a lot of his attitude and made him have a lot more fun and, and see life as a lot more fun. And it was a real turning point for him in, in his experience and his battle with this disease. High Lifeline gives us something that money can't buy. I mean, I don't quite know how to describe it well, but it gives us a sense of caring that you'd never expect out of somebody other than your family. I don't know how they do it. I mean, it's a miracle to me. I don't know how they get people that have other things to do in their lives to want to sit on the floor and deal with a kid who's throwing up or having all kinds of other serious health issues. And this is what they choose to do with their free time. And they'll do it as much as you'll allow them to. And it's like their privilege that they should be able to do that. I and mean, that is a very special thing. There are not a lot of people that I know in my life um, that would choose to do that. And so I think it's just a remarkable organization and with remarkable people. Lest we forget how fresh how we are. Countless number of times a parent has told me that their children lost a lot of the youthfulness that they had. And when they, just two weeks in camp, all of a sudden they come back young children again. Crazy! Everybody says, well, you know, oh, the, the kids get so much out of camp. So I'm glad at the same time, I mean, you can't deny it that when you're there, you receive more than you're giving. Numa, numa. <laughs> Let's make a music video. The kids will love it. We'll make it a surprise and it'll be cool. So it took about five minutes on stage. We did it. Hello. Salud. It's like the camp of good luck. Nothing really bad happens there. There's always all these people that are doing crazy things, which is always fun. You wake up, you eat, you order whatever you want for every meal. It's so good. It's nice to be treated like a king. Suddenly I was surrounded by by just a carefree world. <laughs> That's a wrap, boys. <laughs> it's all for real. There's no, no shows. It's real life. It's real fun. It's real friends. You walk into High Lifeline as one person, you walk out as, as a different person. You forgot that you were sick the past whole year because you haven't jumped around like that in eight months. It's probably one of the greatest feelings I've ever had. When you're, you're going to be a, like a counselor, it's really saying, you know, I'm going to take on another friend for the rest of my life. Camp Simple was the greatest experience of my life. It's got to be.
best decision I've ever made. They're completely selfless people. They and it's just for the kids. It's like amazing. Take my word, it's good stuff. We need this place. This just has to be there. It's utopia. It's like just an incredible amount of uh, people sharing and caring for each other. Within two hours of being diagnosed, High Lifeline was already on board. They've made our lives dealable. They've helped us get through it all. They just give so much of themselves. It's incredible. It's really incredible to see. I think that the camp is very, very, very good. Do you want to go to any other camps? And that I do not want to go to any other camps. Thank you very much, Ella. I will like Camp Simcha.